if the clitoris was that bad, I don't think God would put it there. So guys, I thought female genital mutilation was a thing of the past until I saw the story on some, you know, media platforms. And it's a story from the Gambia. And I'm going to read excerpts of it from one of the media platforms that's post Nigeria, just bits of it. It says, Gambia may become first country to legalize female genital mutilation, also known as FGM. And the story reads in part, the Gambia's parliament has voted to advance a bill that could potentially lift the ban on female genital mutilation, also known as FGM, positioning the West African nation on the brink of becoming the first country globally, yes, globally, to legalize the practice, thereby affecting millions of girls and women. The proposal which seeks to repeal the 2015 legislation that criminalized same, that criminalized FGM, sentencing violators to up to three years in prison, saw a dominant majority vote of 42 to four in favor of its advancement on Monday, March 18, 2024. And <laughs> it's interesting because Monday, March 18, 2024 was my birthday. So when I was birthdaying, people were trying to you know, lift the ban on FGM. Now, the argument in favor of FGM, and it's, it's, it's still from the Pulse, Pulse Nigeria website, and it says, our member Giba, I hope I got the name right, the parliamentarian responsible for introducing the contentious bill, defended the motion by arguing that it was an effort to preserve citizens' rights to practice their culture and religion in the predominantly Muslim country. Now, Giba emphasized the bill's intent to uphold religious loyalty and safeguard cultural norms and values. And I'll end here and say just a few things about what I think about, you know, what the Gambia is trying to do. I don't know how many of you have heard stories of women who went through this female genital mutilation, who had their clitoris tampered with. Now, knowing what this does psychologically, you know, to young girls and women, including the health consequences, is really weird and strange to think that in this 21st century, we would want to still practice this. And you ask yourself, are we advancing or we are retrogressing? For me, this is really retrogressive. It's really retrogressive. And, you know, the health consequences are so enormous. And mind you, there are no health benefits for girls, I mean, FGM has no health benefits for girls and women, so I don't know why they would want to lift the ban on this, you know, on this. It can cause severe bleeding, complications during childbirth, and you wonder, why would you want to do this to a woman or a girl? The pain they have to go through, and if the clitoris was that bad, I don't think God would put it there. And ask the men, when you're having sex with your wives, don't they like it when the women respond? You cut off the clitoris, the woman doesn't get to enjoy the sex, and you think this is something that we should encourage? Hell no. Mm -hmm.